What is going on you guys? My name is Hugh and in this week's video we're going to be doing two things today. We are going to be working on Gary's mufflers which last video I've tried to take them off but unfortunately those bolts are stuck on there and upon further analysis the actual gaskets are literally metal and it's created a weld <laughs> between the muffler and the rest of the uh, rest of the exhaust. So we're going to have to just cut them off, unfortunately. But hey, he's definitely going to sound really good um, with just a muffler delete and keeping everything else stock. Not only that, I'm also going to be changing his sway bar bushing today because he's been banging around every time I'm driving at like 60 miles an hour. So all I'm hearing is bong -a -dong, bong -a -dong, bong -a -dong, bong kind of like similar to Betty over here, which I'm not going to show you what's going on with her. Maybe you get like a little sneak peek. Eh, okay, that's all you're going to get. So yeah, Project Betty is being filmed right now. Uh, so you will definitely see that hopefully the beginning of next year. This process for Project Betty Stage 3 is actually going a lot quicker. The engine switch is actually not too hard. Um, a, a lot of the stuff I'm still waiting for is like parts and a few other components. But other than that, project is going to buy really fast so you definitely will see the first episode really shortly uh, i'm just going to take the rest of the year to finish building it putting it all together and hopefully beginning of next year maybe in january or february you'll see the first episode but enough of me yammering i'm going to get straight to work on gary is hold on your boy getting a phone call I think my buddy's here. What the heck? What's going on here? What is this? Who the hell? Who the freak is this kid? Dude, dude it's me. It's me. It's, it's me. a Toyota guy. It's a Toyota guy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this man's stickers on his car. Because as if he doesn't have enough of them. I don't. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. No, that, okay, that's, I won't, I can't show you because it's like glued on there now. It's a magnet, but. Oh, it's a magnet? Why is it glued on? I don't know, it just gets really <laughs> glued. You'll see why it's glued on there. Uh, you see it? Well, that's not that bad. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, you gonna do this already? Well, yeah. Ow! So, if you guys can see, there is no bushing in there. And that is why the steering wheel might be cockeyed, but still, you might need an alignment regardless. So, that one is literally gone. Come over here. That one is almost destroyed. Actually, this one's fairly decent, but I'm just gonna change both out just, uh, just to be on the safe side here. And I'm assuming these push in. I think, but I'll have to figure that out on the fly, but yeah, that's, there's no bushing in there. That's, that's bad. That's very bad.
All right, the sway bar bushings are swapped out and looking pretty. Why is this little dangling, thingaling, whatever that is? I don't know what that is. Okay, whatever. But that should help fix the steering problem, maybe. We'll see. But now, we're going to move on to the next part of this. The exhaust. So, we're back to round two of getting these stupid nasty mofos off. What in the hell are you doing there? Oh, okay. Let's see if we can just chop that bitch off. We're going to fix that right now. Wow, you got a southern accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in full Tennessee, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you full Tennessee cornfield. You want to mess with that? You're going to take that muffler off. You're going to cut that and then fix that and make that sound better. Hold on to me. Three glasses. No. Okay. Wait. Uh, no, wait a second. If I chop here. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like one right in my face. I want to first use the angle grinder. Angle grind this off. Yeah. And then get close to the muffler. Because then it'll kind of be a straight pipe that way. Uh, yeah. Oh, you never seen these hangers? Look. They're just, uh, what's the name? They're like. Rings. Yeah. I mean, literally. I mean, that's all, really all they are. Oh wow, yeah it is. That's what the it's like something from the toilet. Do <laughs> <laughs> mm. <clears throat> you want a master? Nah, who needs COVID? <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> that's what happens when you Vegas hookers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets all bent up. Oh my god. It's true. <laughs> I'd believe it. Stretch out this brain and shit ain't good, man. She's not healthy. Oh, you're recording this? Yeah. <laughs> Sensor, all of this. I have to have mic sensor that. <laughs> well, ain't that a big bitch right here? That's fine. Yeah, that's gonna. Look at that. Well, <laughs> the amount of things that have gone in that hole. <laughs> God damn it. Nice. This is what I gotta do when I know. <laughs> yes. Couple of kids over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was so waiting for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what happened there? Broke the uh, blade? Uh, no, no. It no. fell out of the thing. It fell out. It's the of my life. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Two big trumpets out of the car and we're good. Damn, these things are freaking huge. Look at the size of my feet, dude. Like, why? So, you actually could, if I measure this out, if you get a piece of pipe that fits this, yeah. you weld it up. Yeah. Worst case scenario, cut these off, right? And then get the weld on there nice, and then bolt it up. Hmm. And have it bolt up as close as we can. So then it'll kind of be like that. Yeah, a little bit out. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, but it's it. better. We have to move the things and turn the tires, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. He's like, Why are we doing Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you might want to put it first.
sorry. Did I hear a little pop? No, there you go. Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. He's like, no, no, we're not popping. It doesn't sound bad. Not at all. Definitely needs some light on it. Very nice. That is what a 2J is supposed to sound like. Not quiet as hell. Should change. Oh, really? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it goes from small pipe to big pipe. It has more room to bound, so it's not as True. confined. Yeah, you can try that. Yeah, just slowly rev it. So we got the mufflers done. Now it's time to chow down on some good old fashioned Ford's Garage boogers. I mean, bo boogers. Bo burgers. <laughs> what do you give me this strange look for? What's up, Mario? Boogers? <laughs> yeah, boogers. So I'm going to chow this down, and I'll see you guys back at the house. Not bad. Sounds a lot sportier. Now we just need to finish it. We're definitely going to finish up an exhaust or something. Or at least finish the tip part of it. But other than that, not bad. Not bad for I knew it was going to be good. Like, the muffler delete on this car sounds really good. And I was right. It sounds really good. It's not stupid loud. Again, it's, it's a really good motor. So that motor alone sounds really good. But if you do the right thing to a car that has the right motor, it's just, it's just perfect. Like, you can't get any better than this. Not bad. What's the downshift sound like? Not bad. Dude, this is not bad at all. I love it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we made it back to the house. With the footage, it's hard to capture the actual sound of this exhaust. But in the interior, it's not loud. It sounds really good, very tame. It's actually kind of relaxing. It's weird with an engine like this, the 2JZ, where it's meant to be loud. It's meant to be powerful. It's meant to be, you know, all these amazing things. Or it's like my perspective of it, based on this car, is I see it as like a kind of a sporty, like very calm, very like mellow but with a lot of power behind it you know what i mean like just knowing what this motor is capable of for this project build on, on gary man it's it's gonna be crazy I, I can't wait to start modifying this car but like i said when we're halfway done with project betty stage three then we'll start modifying gary you will see a couple of little things i'll do like maybe a shift knob or you know mediocre things for them but not a major modification um, like any sort of cosmetics or performance upgrades not yet of course I also want to thank my buddy Jackson again. He was the one who actually chopped off Gary's exhaust. He was the same gentleman a while back that actually detailed Betty. I'll leave a link to the description below and over there in the eyeball if you guys want to check out that video. He has been super, super supportive on this project. Actually, as a matter on any project, he's been super excited about the Lexus build. And he's been really supportive on the Project Betty series. I'm glad to have met a buddy like him. Him and Xander together, we create a really good team. And I really do appreciate meeting people that really want to contribute to any sort of project I'm working on, especially if it's people that you know I can learn from and people that are always willing to help. So Jackson, if you do see this, you are amazing. I'm glad to have met a buddy like you. I certainly do appreciate all the help. But anyway, I am about ready to shut down for today. So if you guys enjoyed this week's video, be sure to give it a fat thumbs up. And I will see you goons later.